6200 Sapphire Eye unit here, um, quickly kind of becoming outdated. What I mean by that is, is this is a Wi-Fi 6 sensor. We have our Wi-Fi 6E sensor coming out in January. That's right around the corner. Holy moly. So that's going to be pretty exciting. Nevertheless, I wanted to show you a couple of things. Mike was talking all about signal loss, signal gain. This is really important stuff, guys. I think by the end of today, you realize that. Uh, what I wanted to do is go into 7 Signal Analyzer and show you how we're monitoring and measuring this. This is really important. Okay, so we spend a lot of time on a good design. We spend a lot of time maybe making proper antenna selections. Well, how do we know what's going on in the environment unless we measure? And that's what the Sapphire Eye is all about. We measure because we want to be able to then optimize accordingly and make adjustments. As we know, Wi-Fi is a living, breathing beast, and we must tame the beast. And the way that we do that is through the system here. Remember, a sapphire eye is stationary. It's fixed in space, okay? So we're going to put it in a spot, and then it's going to listen. It's going to hear. It has the ability to kind of hear about four or five access points all around it at minus 65 dBm or better. So one sapphire eye can listen to a pretty big area. And as you can see on the screen here, we are carefully monitoring and measuring the signal strength, the received signal strength for each and every access point that we're monitoring. And I wanted to call attention to what we're seeing down here at the bottom. So this is what Mike was referring to when he was saying, hey, you know, be careful about whether it be, you know, fluctuating your transmit power, your receive power accordingly, because look at this. Here's a perfect example of an access point at minus 67. We can hear it at minus 67. Something changed. There was something that either entered the environment or was removed from the environment, in this case, maybe entered the environment, because look, just, uh, you know, maybe an hour later, now we can hear that at minus 73. Whoa. Remember what Mike said, for every 6 dB change, that's the equivalent of like doubling the distance between you and the access point. That makes a big, big difference with regards to being able to hit those high data rates. Remember what we said, those high data rates, and we're talking about not just 256 QAM, I mean, we're getting into 4K QAM. These modulation encoding schemes, my goodness, they require a lot of signal, okay? A lot of signal and a big signal to noise ratio in order to really reach those heights that we're all hoping for. So how do we measure that? Boom, let's go to our next chart, shall we? So right here, everybody, look at that AP signal to noise ratio at the eye level. And again, we're monitoring. So as your environment is changing, as it's, as it's living and breathing, like we were talking about a moment ago, as inventory is moving in and out, or as crowds of people come through the hall and, 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 and into, the, into the space, things change. We want to be able to see what's going on in that environment when that happens. Remember, guys, I mean, everybody's Wi-Fi network is awesome when it's empty, but what happens when things start to happen in the environment? Does it bend and not break? Well, we look at the system in order to find out. So look at this here. Look what happened in the middle of the day here, where the signal to noise ratio really dropped down. Look at that. Wow. That is crazy how it dropped down to maybe 10, 11, 12 dB. I mean, in order to achieve these high data rates, we need to have 25 dB, 30 dB or more in order to really hit those high data rates that we want to be able to hit. And you can see how this is flexing and bending all throughout the day and night. And we view that through the system that we have here today. Pretty cool stuff. All right. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Hope you enjoyed it. And you know what? I just want to remind everybody out there that while you and me, we can't see or hear Wi-Fi, but 7Signal can. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Awesome. Thank you so much, Eric. Thanks again, Mike. Really great feedback from for both of you uh, in the chat. And uh, you know where we'll be. Same time, same place, everyone. We'll be back. I, I was kind of a liar. We'll be back one time before Halloween, and then we'll be back the week of Halloween. So we'll be here October 25th and November 1st. So we will see you there. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Have a great week. Hi, everybody. Bye.